Four armed Albion guards stand in front of a large piece of graffiti showing a pig smoking a cigar. The illegal paintings spreading subversive and hostile messaging over the last few weeks across London are not the work of several people as was originally believed. In a supermarket, an, individual. an Albion guard points a gun at a worker and knocks items off of shelves. Exiting the shop, the gunman knocks over a second masked figure who is being pursued by numerous Albion guards and drones. The guards open fire on the now fleeing figure. The escapee stumbles then continues running. Text appears. Welcome to London. Authorities recommend not to approach the individual. Flashback, day. First, they came for the foreigners, and I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. A man was shown being chased and beaten with batons. A tube station, two drones pursue the fleeing figure as they jump the ticket barriers. Then, they came for the protesters, and I did not speak out because I was not a protester. As a guard joins the chase, one drone collides violently with a wall. An oncoming train smashes into the second drone. Then they came for the journalists. And I did not speak out. Because I was not a journalist. Having jumped onto a second platform to avoid the drones, the fleeing figure now runs up escalators. Their location is captured on CCTV and relayed to armed guards in a police car. And then they came for street artists. But I did not speak out. Because I am not a street artist. Pursued by the car, the figure vaults a wall and leaps onto a larger drone, lifting them up and away from gunfire. The figure and drone now appear in front of the four guards and graffiti from the opening. The drone weaves in and out of busy London traffic at night. Too late, the figure notices a slow moving bus, and as the drone collides with it, they're catapulted onto the roof. The figure deftly leaps from one moving bus to a second. As the bus stops at traffic lights, the figure slides off the roof into the path of a black London cab that swerves to avoid them. Numerous armed guards approach the taxi cab. And I realised that eventually they'd come for me and there would be no one left to speak for me. The cab driver opens the rear door. The cab pulls away at speed and the guards open fire. A bullet hits the cab's windscreen. The CCTV cameras capture an image of the taxi driver's face and his personal details are displayed. Right! Oh! Right. Where are we off to, sir? This way! I'll show you the way! OK! Sorry, miss! All right, so we're in a total mess now, so let's get the hell out of here. As the taxi drives over a bridge, we see a view of London's skyline in the background. The taxi pulls up outside the Hole in Pocket pub, which has builders' hoardings around it. Don't you hear nothing about it. Oh. And there's nothing more to fill it with than that. Right. Opening the door, which bears a keep out sign, the woman enters the pub, followed by the taxi driver. Night. London is in chaos. A screen shows footage of her recent chase. Figures in hoods and masks fill the pub. Well, well, well. Welcome to the resistance. There's a welcome gift. A bundle. For our new member. The man wears a pig mask and smokes a cigar. You could have told me it was a bloody... Now standing alone. Costume party. Try it on. On screen. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43-year-old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record, but is currently believed to be a terrorist. The taxi driver, now revealed to be Ford, looks down at the mask he's been given, deep in thought. Text appears. Reclaim your future.